Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome back to another episode of my Black Ops 3 Gold Gun Guides. Today, I'm going to be talking about the worst shotgun in this game, the Haymaker. Now, I know what you're thinking. The Haymaker? How is this the worst gun, worst shotgun in the game, Donuts? And while I'll admit it's probably hyperbole, I had the most trouble getting this weapon gold. In order to get this weapon gold, you are going to need to get 100 headshots, which in and of itself is very difficult to do with a shotgun because you're not going to be wanting to aim down sights. And the fact that this has such a low damage, uh, getting a headshot on that last shot is going to be pretty random. So my tip for you is just to slightly aim up a little bit. Don't aim for their chest. Make sure that their head is right in the center of your crosshairs. That is the way I did it. That was the most painless way. And obviously, if you're behind somebody if they don't know you're there that's when you can aim down sights and hopefully shoot them in the head after that you have your typical revenge kills uh, six uh, six attachment kills no attachment kills as well as bloodthirsties and double kills the revenge kills the double kills not too big of a deal however the biggest issue with the haymaker is the gun itself is getting kills with the haymaker at all now I know on PC, I know this from personal experience, on the PC this thing is a beast. And you may be thinking, why is that? Well, I'm not entirely sure. It may have something to do with the accuracy and the field of vision and taking shots when you originally, like maybe on console, couldn't think you could make shots. Or it could just be the whole accuracy. The, the mouse and keyboard is better than the uh, control stick, of course. However, on console at least, this is one of the most infuriating weapons to use. This is a three, mostly four hit kill weapon with an incredibly slow rate of fire. It is not uncommon. In fact, it's actually kind of common where you will be getting into a gunfight and somebody with an SMG, which is also maybe like a three or four hit, it's usually a three hit kill with the SMGs at close range. Because of their rate of fire, because their rate of fire is so high, they are probably going to outgun you, even if they are hip firing. There were so many times where I would honestly even get the first shot, and by the time the next two shots connected, somebody with a Vesper or a Cuda or a VMP would just hip fire spray me down and win that gunfight. And not to mention, if you get really close to people, Literally every single other shotgun has a faster time to kill. The Brecky only takes two shots and it's arguably, uh, the rate of fire is arguably at least somewhat similar to the Haymaker. And the uh, KRM and the Argus are always a one hit kill in that close shotgun range. So of course they are going to win. You know, even if they take two shots, if you miss a shot, you're pretty statistically not looking so good. This is while maybe mathematically balanced, it is in practice, perceptually, very, very frustrating to use because you can get first shot on target and still lose because someone else simply has a better weapon than you do. Now, all this adds up to seem very inconsistent. This is by no means a I guess bad weapon, like you can still do work with this weapon and obviously on the PC that is true as well, however, it just feels incredibly inconsistent. The Brecky, the best shotgun, my favorite shotgun is incredibly consistent. It is always a two and sometimes a three hit, mostly a three hit if you're in that longer range. This one, it's a three hit, yes it's consistent in how long it takes to kill somebody, but in terms of winning gunfights, that's when it's most inconsistent. You know, it depends on the enemy you're coming up against. It depends on what gun they're using. It depends on how good their accuracy is. That is going to determine your success to a larger extent than the other weapons. And I think that is exactly why I have the most inconsistent gameplay with this weapon itself. In terms of tips for getting it gold, it is going to be more like the other shotgun tips I have for you and what everybody has, you know, stay up close. It, accuracy is huge. And this one, you can get them from a little bit farther distance. You can get that longer range out there. You can at least get shots on target because you need all the lead on target that you can. And it's honestly why I think it's so powerful on the PC because when your accuracy is good and you do take those shots, you are going to slowly get the opponent's uh, health down 
Uh, obviously, that's the point of a first-person shooter, Donuts. But I think you get my point. Make sure your aim's on target, which is kind of weird for a shotgun. Make sure your aim is on target, and you're taking as many shots as you possibly can. As far as attachments go, I do want to say on laser sight, at least here in Black Ops 3, it feels like the base damage of shotguns, at least how shotguns work. They have a base damage, and then bonus points for a pellet hit. I don't feel like the amount of pellets on target has really any noticeable playable effect. So laser sight, while in other Call of Duties where pellet spread actually mattered, I feel like that would have been a good attachment, but for this one, I feel like laser sight is just going to decrease uh, your accuracy, or it's going to increase your accuracy, but it's going to be more challenging to be accurate with the laser sight. I'd rather have that large pellet spread is what I'm trying to say. Personally, rapid fire didn't help me in any sort of noticeable extent. I don't know if that's me just perceiving it, if I had a bad game or two with it or not, but my best attachments were extended mags and fast mags. Those are the attachments that you're going to want to use because you are going to be sh putting, you know, four five shots on target and you're going to be putting a lot of bullets a lot of shells into your enemies and if you're going for those bloodthirsties if you're going for those double kills you know you're definitely going to need to reload quickly and have a lot of bullets in your weapon so that's it that's all i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching tell me what are your thoughts on the haymaker are you having trouble do you love this weapon are you on pc console tell me your thoughts in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching and until the next absolutely beautiful call of duty morning i'll catch up with you guys later and as always, stay beautiful.